All right, guys, we're here with the fifth edition of our Monday Myth Series, where we take a myth in the chiropractic or health industry, break it down, and replace it with an even better truth out there. So Monday Myth number five is that the difference in your leg length or your hip height is what is causing your low back pain or it's going to cause you low back pain. So there was a lot to unpack in this myth. Um, and for the record, there is some research that shows that you know if you have a leg length discrepancy, there is some correlation with low back pain. Uh, so that does exist, but there's also just as much research out there that shows um, that the difference in leg length and low back pain, that there's basically no correlation or no relationship with it. So let's break down um, a few different uh, facts, I, I guess we should say, or a few different thoughts about this myth. Uh, one is that we, we don't know whether or not um, the low back pain, uh, we don't know if the leg length discrepancy started before or after the low back pain. And the reason that's important is we change our postures whenever we're in pain. We have different posture, we walk a little bit differently, we have different muscular activity as well whenever we have low back pain. So that can certainly alter and easily alter the length of our legs depending on whether or not we have low back pain. The second thing we're gonna look at is that whenever we see research on leg length discrepancy and low back pain, they're only looking at one mechanical variable, which is the leg length discrepancy. There's other very relevant mechanical variables such as strength, uh, the strength and endurance of your low back muscles, which research also shows that that's highly correlated with low back pain, but also mobility as well. There's also research discussing the, the correlation between low back pain and the amount of mobility you have in your back. So, you know, if someone has a short leg or a higher hip on one side, but they also have really bad mobility in their low back and they have really poor endurance in their low back muscles, who's to say it's because of the leg length discrepancy that they low, may have low back pain. If you improve their mobility or give them some more strength in their low back, that might be what, what can help them the most. Uh, the next thing we'll look at is that pain is very multi-dimensional and multifactorial. So there are mechanical factors, like we just talked about, strength, mobility, uh, but there's also things like the food that you eat, how much sleep you're getting at night, what your stress levels are, and that's both like job stress and work stress and much more than that as well. Um, and then uh, like family stress, your home life, all that sort of thing. But then also your activity levels can, can make a difference in your pain and, and what your thoughts and beliefs are whenever you have pain can lead to whether or not you're gonna have chronic pain. So pain is very multifactorial and multidimensional, so we can't just pinpoint it on one mechanical factor and say, this is the reason why you're having pain. Uh, the next one we're gonna talk about is that our bones have slightly different shapes and length. That's the way that we're born and that's the way that our bones develop, our skeleton develops that way. So it's somewhat normal to have a little bit of a variation in your bone lengths from side to side, and that's and our foot bones, our shin bones, our femur, which is our thigh bone, and then around our hip and pelvis and low back as well. So a little bit of alteration in those bones will make it look like you have a shorter leg or a higher hip on one side. And then also just going back to the muscular activity that we talked about earlier, if you're contracting your muscles a little bit differently on one side of your body than you are on the other, that can affect your leg length. If you don't believe me, try it at home. Stand on the ground with your feet flat on the ground and then try to see if you can change your hip height. You can do it just by contracting your core and hip muscles a little bit differently on one side than the other. So to recap, pain is just far too multidimensional to say that one mechanical variable is going to cause your low back pain or that's what is already causing your low back pain. Unless we were to do an x-ray of your entire spine or, or your entire lower body and pelvis, we wouldn't even know if your leg length is because of actual bone length or just because of your muscles pulling a little bit more in one direction or the other. At St. John's Chiropractic and Performance, we focus much more on function. So we want you to have the necessary range of motion and strength that you need so that you can perform your best at whatever it is that you love the most in life and that you want to do in life. Um, so we wouldn't be doing our due diligence if we simply just decided to treat your short leg and that was going to be the that was gonna be the only thing that we treated with your low back pain. Um, and so th because of that, you should not think that your leg length discrepancy or your difference in your hip height is the, is the exact thing that is causing your low back pain. So 
think much more broadly than that and just know that pain is multifactorial. And if you have any other questions, please let us know. Um, so now that you know that myth, go tell a friend and we'll see you guys again next week. Take care.